You know, it's interesting, one more um, opportunity to share God's Word. And I tell you something, the more I, I live every day, you can't exhaust it. Uh, all we can simply do, I've said this many times before, just take small bits and, and just small pieces uh, uh, and share this magnificent, glorious Word. I, 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 I call it the... the the miracle in ink, glory to God, amen. It's, it's uh, glory to God. It's, 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 it's powerful. You know, it's, it's, it's written word. It's, called, it's logos. Logos is written word, but it becomes absolutely effervescent. Glory to God, powerful and potent when you speak it. The Bible says in Job 22, 28, Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. That's rhema. So I'm here to declare today, glory to God, amen. Whatever is going on in your life right now, your situation in your life, fears or anxiety, speak God's word. Because he always causes us to triumph. Everyone knows, if you know me personally, uh, uh, you know I, I, I'm not trying to defend the Bible. And Everyone knows where I stand in the word of God, amen. I believe in every chapter and every verse. Because if it's not chapter and verse, it's just chatter and worse. And, and there's so much meet in a verse. And just if you allow me over the next few moments to, uh, to bring some things to your attention. And, and I thank the Lord that he's allowed me to sit under, I like to say, mighty men of valor, glory to God, that, that share this, 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 this apolicity, amen, this apostolic faith of one Lord, one faith, one baptism, Ephesians 4 and 5, Glory to God, and taught me about the Godhead, and, and I, I'm just reminded of uh, sitting under Elder Ryan for those years, and, and, and getting baptized, and get filled with the Holy Ghost, and open their ministries, and, and then sitting under the, the late Bishop Charles C. C. Queen for 20 years, and, and teaching about the, the Hebrew, and the Greek, and, and, and the, the Godhead, and the name, and the oneness of God, and now have the amazing uh, opportunity to, to glean at the feet of, of Bishop Howard Swansea for Peace Apostolic. And, and I'm so grateful that God has so smiled down on me, glory to God, that I've not left this apostolic persuasion. Glory to God. 45 minutes, an hour, 60 minutes, it's hard to, to convey a thought that's so pregnant, it's so bubbly, it's, it's so powerful, we can discuss it for hours on top of hours on top of hours on top of hours. But I want to talk about two things, two people, the revelation of two Adams. 66 books in the Bible, 39 in the old, 27 in the new, and there was a, a gap year of, 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 of 400 years. It was called the, the silent years. In uh, the book of Malachi, then we, we, I mean, not a peep, nothing, 400 years. Not a sound. And, and now we enter into the New Testament and, and we start in the Gospel of Matthew. And it's amazing hmm, that God kept these words. Uh, glory to God. In other words, he kept Dabayim, uh, the Hebrew word for words. We get the book of Deuteronomy, the book of words. But he kept the words of Moses and to the, to the writings of, of John and the first five books of, of the Bible. We, we, it's called Torah or the uh, the first five books of Moses, and he led the people out of bondage, out of bondage, out of Mitzrayim, in other words, out of Egypt, amen, and, and, and God, he taught, Elohim, he, he taught a lot of things to Moses. He gave him tremendous information, and gave him wisdom, and knowledge, and understanding. He, he had an a intimate relationship with Moses. He, 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 he talked to Moses about just about the, the origins of, the, of man and, and, and uh, uh, origin of the, of the earth. And he talked about the patriarchs and Abraham and Yitzchak and Yaakov and Isaac and, and Jacob and all the various events that took place with, remember David, uh, the shepherd boy and out in the field and tending the sheep and Glory to God, but later became a gopher and for his brothers and go get some milk and cheese while they're about to go to battle against the Philistines and go get me some water. And the, the same that David that defeated Goliath, glory to God, the same one that ran from Saul and, and glory to God, the same that became king, united Israel uh, and, and the lion of, 
uh, the tribe of Judah, the root of Jesse, that same David. And then we end up with a man named John. Ha, ba, ba. Mm, glory, my, my, my. One of the great apostles. The only one who didn't suffer death from another. Theologians say it was written between 85 to 95 AD, and he died at 100 AD. And John, he, he sat at the feet of Yeshua, Jesus, watching all the various things he was able to do. And the Holy Ghost gave him tremendous memory, tremendous recall. And, and, and today, we, we, we might say uh, in the, the clinical sense, it, in his reticular activating system, my dad would say as a, a clinical psychologist, amen, the, the brain, amen, gave him tremendous memory and recall. And and, and John is responsible for the Gospel of John and I John and Second John, Third John, and the relation revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. But those who who put the the canon together, it was broken down in in chapter and in verse. Verse twenty, John. There, there, there's so many things that Yeshua did that, that are not even recorded all day long. It must have been amazing stupendous, overwhelming. Glory to God, amen. And miracles on top of miracles were happening and on top of miracles. And, and, and just in his presence, his shikanai, and, and people just trying to test him in his seat, see, glory to God, amen. And, and he just, uh, people were being delivered from, from all kinds of sickness and diseases and demonic possession and healed. And in the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, Adam hmm, is defined as the one taken out of the red earth, out of the ground. ha Haaretz. History tells us that he was the first man, number one man, uh, who ever breathed on this terra firma. Hmm. He's the head of the human family. He's uh, from one man's blood. Glory to God. All mankind was made. First being to, 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 we get our Hebrew word to walk is halak, to, to walk the earth. And he found himself in a place that would make him, man, would make him happy. And a world without any sin and any sorrow. And, and I like to say it was the great house came into the world, the earth, that he brought his tenant Adam to occupy it. And let me tell you something, it wasn't an empty house. Glory to God. It was furnished with everything Adam had need for. And uh, Elohim, he satisfied every single need. And we don't know long, how long uh, Adam remained in the garden, amen. It, I, I like to call it that, that great state of um, not a care in the world. And we might even say peaches and cream. But, but in other words, that great state of blissfulness. Not sure how long innocent lasted, amen. Other dispensations, other administrations... Glory to God, uh, uh, consciousness and human government and, and promise and law, and now we're in grace right now. But innocence, hmm, we can't tell you. Hmm. See, innocence was lost because they, they listened to the voice of the tempter, Satan. He's real. Most people don't want to believe that he's real. and They say this book's outdated, but the devil is a liar. He is real. Glory to God. Adam was a gardener. That was his occupation. But after he sinned, amen, he, he had to deal with this, 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 this hard, rocky, stubborn ground, amen, to just to eat his bread by the sweat of his own brow. I, I, I would imagine he's probably working from sunrise to before sunrise to way off the sunset, amen, just to get something to eat. And glory to God, amen. And, and, and it tells me that the earth was probably very, very pliable, when it was first created. See, remember, it didn't rain back then. The mist just came up to water. Everything that was needed, amen. But Adam was, he was a necessary complement to the plan of God. Hmm. No man to work or till the ground. And, and, and the accomplishments of God required, I like to say, human instrumentality, amen. And, and, and Elohim was going to, to use him to to make things and 
be productive, amen, glory to God, hush, and name things. And, and, you know, he was made in his image and likeness. I believe, this is my own opinion, but I, I believe that he was probably already filled with the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Elohim, he, he, he made the earth for man. Glory to God. I mean, think about this. Adam can name anything at any time. Tremendous. Hmm. But one day we're, I believe this, we're, we're going to be back down here. And, but it won't be like, like you see it now. Oh, glory to God. I'm so glad about the new birth. I'm, I'm so glad. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God that he filled me with the Holy Ghost. And I'm so glad he's still filling men and women with the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. I said this before. Death for a saint is a blessing because we don't, we don't, we don't die. We, we transform. Amen. He, he's got a new body for us. Amen. Your soul will never die. Your spirit will never die. Look at the story with the rich man, Lazarus. Uh, 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 the rich man. And also the story with Lazarus. Glory to God. Mm. Adam. He, he, he was this fashioned creature of God. He, he, was, he was buried in his image in his likeness. That's why I believe he was, he had the Holy Ghost back then, amen. But, but case in point, he had, man, he had God-like faculties, glory to God, that no other animal had. Matter of fact, back in the garden, a, 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 a lamb, an innocent lamb, that has no defensive skills, could lay with a lion, could lay with a bear, could lay with a leopard, glory, they, get, they got along, amen. I shot that ago. But Adam was, 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 was created a, a tripartite. He was made of, glory to God, of body, soul, and of spirit, rock. But Adam also needed a companion to, to satisfy his, his created instincts, amen. There was something in him, his created instincts. Thus Eve was formed. In society now, now we have a friendship, we, we have a companionship, and we've got gifts and love and, and that were divinely bestowed upon man. But, but then something happened. Adam was... He was enticed. Mm, 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 mm. We all know the story, glory to God, about sin. And, and after the, the satanic tempter, there came the human tempter. And, 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 oh, shut that up. And after partaking of the forbidden fruit offered by Eve, it ruined Adam. My, my, my. What a terrible, dreadful place to be in. From blissfulness, glory to God, to dreadfulness. Remember, Adam was... He was the federal head of the human race. And, and the, the sentence for, for, for the transgressions was because of you, Adam, all men have to die. Glory to God. Man has to die because of your transgressions. And he was enticed. And, uh, to, uh, he, he listened to the tempter. And, and now Adam and all Adam all die. Glory to God. You know, we all have a sunrise and a sunset. If you go to any cemetery, you see a, a, a gravestone, a tombstone that says born and, and die. But in that thing, it, there's a dash there. What you do in between that dash means everything regarding eternal life. Glory to God. Because you will always live forever. But uh, the Bible says heaven. I, I, I just, you know something? I, I say this because, you know, heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. Hell is a prepared place for unprepared people. And hell is enlarging every single day. Glory to God. Hmm. But they, they listen to the tempter. Glory to God. But here's the conjunction. But also, he also received the promise. The promise that one day a Savior. Glory to God. Ha, ba, ba, da, shall go. It, it was the first promise, a first prophecy of one able to deal with Satan. Amen. Someone had to, had to come on the scene to, to deal with him. And Adam, he, he couldn't do it by himself. Amen. You can't do it by yourself. Amen. Matter of fact, coats had to be provided to cover up the nakedness. Somebody had to die to cover up the nakedness of Adam and Eve. So now that's why we have what we are today, mankind. The human race. You've got seven billion, uh, eight hundred, and so many, many people on the earth right now, on all seven continents, and the billions that have lived before. Glory to God! All going all the way back to Genesis, and, and glory to now. We, we we find ourselves in a daily state that's hard. It's challenging. Glory to God! Look right now. We have the coronavirus on six out of the seven continents. Case in point. 
Glory to God. Life is hard at times. And sin is a, is a terrible blow to the human race. Glory to God. You know, and I say this, that the, the, the biggest pandemic uh, is not the coronavirus. We've had, we've had pandemics for, for centuries before. We had the Black Death. We had smallpox. We had the London Great Plague and yellow fever and polio and the Ebola and the Spanish flu and swine flu. And today we have the coronavirus today. But, but glory to God, the biggest pandemic, glory to God, is sin. That's the biggest pandemic. Uh, it's a terrible blow to the human race. All the trouble ha, ba, 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 shut, that we are having on this earth right now, we can trace it back to sin. Wars and world wars on all continents. Wars, glory, glory to God. From the first murder of Cain, killing his twin Abel, up to today, amen, it's traced back to sin. But Elohim, he promised that he was going to provide a vehicle and that vehicle would bruise Satan's head. The Bible, let's go to Genesis 3.15, please. I'm going to read Genesis 3.15. We're going to flip through this Bible. Genesis 3, verse 15. And here's what the Bible says. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Glory to God. But, but God would give a death blow to this adversary. The adversary. The Bible says in Romans 7 gives us a, a short understanding as, as Paul writes to, to the Romans in, 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 this, in this particular text. He, the Apostle Paul, brings in this particular thought. Now keep in mind, we're talking about the Apostle Paul. He was short. as He had a crook nose, but he spoke mighty words. Glory to God. But glory to God. He, he had tremendous understanding. Paul was a student of all 39 books of the Old Testament. He was called a Pharisee of Pharisees. Lord, he studied under Gamaliel and uh, he uh, was the leading authority with the Sanhedrin. He was excellent in his understanding. This is the Apostle Paul. But the Bible says in Romans 5, let's go to Romans 5. Romans 5, I want to read verses 12 through 14, please. It's not in his Bible. It's not real. Romans 5, chapter 5, verses 12 through through 14. Here's what the Bible says. Wherefore as one man's sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. For unto the law of sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Verse 14. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that have not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgressions. Who is the figure of him that was to come? Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Hold on to this word, who. See, a, a type may not be the same in every single aspect. Stay with me. But you've been able to pick up types and shadows. I'm reminded of the late Bishop C.C. Queen would always talk about types and shadows and the Old and New Testament, how they come to fulfillment. But something in the Old Testament, a type or shadow, and, and you'll be able to see how it, it works in the New Testament and bring you to an understanding how beautiful, amazing that God's plan is addressing our, our greatest need, which is just life. Then Paul says in, in, in same same chapter, verse 15 through 17, says this, glory to God, but not as an offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, has abounded unto, unto many. And not as it was by one man that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation. But the free gift is of many offenses in justification, verse 17. For if by one man's offense death reign by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. See, I, I can't say enough how much I love Yeshua. Glory to God. You can trust in his name. You can believe in his name. Glory, you can hold on to his name. Glory to God. 
His deliverance in his name. His victory in his name. His healing in his name. Amen. I love his nature. I love his faithfulness. I, I love his character. The Lord, he's not a man that should lie. And, and I, I, I can, I, I've, got manif I've got many stories how God has been faithful to me and my family. Glory to God. And you do too, too. Glory to God. Sometimes just sit down and just, just take a moment just to say, thank you, Yeshua. All that you've done for me. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm, I'm still breathing. Don't worry about it. You're always going to have a roof over your head. Glory to God, amen. God's going to provide all your, all your needs for his riches and glory. You're going to have food in your table and your refrigerator. Don't worry about that. You want to get through all this. Glory to God, amen. He always causes us to try. The Bible says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or a seed breaking bread. Verse 18 through 20. The Bible says this. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men into justification of life. Glory to God. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That's why, you know something, disgrace, dispensation has been the longest dispensation that we know about. Glory to God. But I'm telling you, I believe this in my spirit, amen, that, that, that we're coming to an end of, of a dispensation real soon. God can crack the sky this evening. I don't know. Next month, next year, I don't know. But glory to God. He is coming back soon. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Hmm. This, this man named Yeshua, in Genesis chapter 2, glory to God. Go to Genesis 2. We'll get there in a moment. Genesis 2, but this man named Yeshua, Jesus, there's nobody like him. I told you earlier that I'm going to talk about the revelation of actually two Adams, amen. The first Adam here is one who, who is called the Son of God, amen, and, 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 and we look at uh, Genesis chapter 2. I want to read verses 18 through, through 23, please. 18 through, through 23. And the Lord God said, it is not good for man should be alone. I will make him a helpmate for him. And out of the ground, the Lord, God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Glory to God. Verse number 20. And Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, every beast of the field. For Adam there was not found and helped me for him. And the Lord God caused a, a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. In verse 22. And the rib which the Lord had taken out of man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bone. Flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Glory to God. I, I certainly cannot exhaust all of this, but I, I do want to bring out some, some very important points. Glory to God. Some very vital points. And how glorious this wonderful, amazing salvation is since God calls the end from the beginning. Glory to God. And 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 for Adam to have, have a wife, something had to happen. Something had to, to take place. And, and the Bible says he, 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 he falls into a deep sleep. My, my, my. He, he, he had to fall asleep. And while he was asleep, God, he, he reached in and he took out a rib. Think about this. The rib is the closest thing to the heart. And, and he formed a woman. And it, it, it's crystal clear Adam was, was not there when the woman was being formed because the Bible says he brought the woman. Amen. Glory to God. Now, now he has a wife, and he, a woman. Amen. And he now has somebody he can talk to, and, and she can turn. She can, she can talk to him, and uh, they can talk to one another. Glory to God. Now they, have a, they, they can have fellowship, and amen. They, they can enjoy life together with one another. Elohim has given him everything that he needs. And, but, but he had to fall asleep. Please notice this. 
See, God takes, he takes out the rib for the absolute sole purpose for making sure Adam had a wife. So, so, so remember I talked about types and shadows. So, so as a type, Adam now, as a matter of fact, it should speak much. It should be, speak volumes to us. Uh, John 19, the, the, there's the second Adam, amen, and he wasn't even satisfied, but he, he, he wants a bride, amen. He, he said, I'm going to build myself, glory to God, a church, an ecclesia, or ecclesia, in other words, the body of Christ. In other words, we're the called out ones, glory to God, and she's going to be my, my wife, my bride, amen. She's, it's going to cost me something. Anything of value will cost you something. For you, you have to have this wife. Glory to God. For me to have this wife, uh, I've got to, I've got to do something. It, it says, let's, it says in chapter nineteen, in the book of John. Let's go there. John nineteen. I want to read verses thirty-two to thirty-seven. John nineteen, thirty-two, and thirty-seven. Hmm. Thirty-two through thirty-seven. Let's see what the Bible says. Then came the soldiers and break the legs of the first and of the other, which is crucified with him. But when they came to Yeshua, Jesus, and saw that he was already dead, they break not his legs. Glory to God. This was, this was prophetically uh, quoted in Psalms 34 and 20. Glory to God. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith came out, Blood and water. And he that saw it bear record, and his record is true. And he knoweth that he said true, that he might believe. Verse 36. For these things were done, that the scriptures be fulfilled. A bone of him shall not be broken. And again, another scripture said, they shall look upon him whom they have pierced. See, out of his side came blood and water immediately and, and glory. And, and these were the elements where were, were needed for, for him, Yeshua, to, to have a wife. Amen. Stay with me. Uh, for without the shedding of blood, there's going to be no wife. Amen. For, for the second Adam hmm, to be baptized, call on the name of Yeshua. It's about the blood and the water. Life is in the blood. Glory to God. As Adam had to go to sleep, Yeshua had to go to sleep. Frivolous. Glory to God. When you heard this you and yelling on the gospel, the death, the burial, the resurrection, the ascension, and the second coming of Yeshua, that you came down, and glory to God, washed in the blood of Yeshua, you listen. Glory to God. If you keep on reading the Old Testament, you notice that the word of God called them Adam. Glory to God. That's why I love the altar. Rich Poor, middle class, don't make a difference. It's a level playing field at the altar. And God is still playing hopscotch. Glory to God when you come down to the altar and filling folks with the Holy Ghost. The glory to God. But he called them Adam. Glory to God. Hmm. One name. The Ecclesia, the Ecclesia, the church, has one name. It's a Hebrew word for one name. And that name is Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Glory to God, amen. See, we are a Yeshua, Jesus name church. NBACC, New Beginnings Apostolic Community Church. We believe in holiness. We believe in the apostolic Pentecostal doctrine. We believe in the name of Yeshua, water baptism, being filled with the Holy Ghost, the deity, the Godhead. He was very, very much God, very, very man. I shot that I go. He, he's the head of the church, amen. His name is Yeshua. His name is Adonai. His name is Elohim. His name is Jesus. Uh, yo hey, vav hey. hey and, 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 and if you're going to be his wife, amen, you're going to have to take on his name, amen. Yeshua does not have a wife that does not have his name. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Give God a hand, praise. And where are you sitting at right now in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach? And, and, and you can hold your hat on that and believe on that name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, that you may know that you have eternal life. Glory to God. I, I, I'm telling you, we're, we, I, we're living in the last of the last day. If the apostles thought they were so close 2,000 years ago, we have to be at the door at this very moment today. Just go to 
The first Thessalonians, go to chapter 4, 14, 13 to 18. Even, even go to 2 Corinthians 15, 51 to 58. Just read your Bible. Glory to God. How? So, he falls asleep for me. Glory to God. And he takes out the elements that will bring me to a place where I have eternal life. And, and the Bible says, I, I, in the book of John, I, I said, I go to prepare a place for you. If it were not so, I would have told you. So I thank the Lord that he's already prepared a place for me. Glory to God. This is not my home. This is not your home. We're, we're just passing through here. Oh, glory to God. We're heavenly citizens. Glory to God. Amen. Keep this in mind. Remember, he, he's, he's asleep and, and he does something that the second Adam, that the first Adam did, the second Adam did not do. See, the first Adam, he sinned. He ate. But the second Adam had no sin in him at all. And the first Adam was of the earthly, but the second Adam is the Lord yod heh from heaven. Thank God, hallelujah, for the revelation of two Adams. Thank you, Yeshua. Glory to God, hallelujah. He does not have to let down his humanity, uh, his deity to become humanity. And for that I give God glory in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the revelation of, of two Adams. See, as Adam in Genesis 2, he, he's the federal head. Of the human race. Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Hamashiach, is the head of the church. He, he's the head of the body. Amen. Uh, and, I, and I say, I say this, I say, Toda Ata Yeshua. In other words, I'll translate, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're part of the body. Glory to God. Amen. That, and, and thank him that, you, that your names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Glory to God. Don't matter what your name is in, in the book, as long as your name is in the book. Glory to God, amen. And, and uh, Hashem, he, he's the head of the body, and it's Jesus, who, who is the Christ, amen. He's the head of the body, and glory to God in the name of Yeshua. 1 Corinthians 15, this is, and go there and just hold your place there, but this is 100% airtight salvation. It's amazing. 1 Corinthians 15. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Just, just hold your place there. Glory to God. See, I wish everybody knew this. Glory to God. You know, you've got, you've got billions of people that don't have a clue about this. You don't take time to read this word. They, and, and, and then if, if they, they read it, they don't even believe it. Amen. Uh, some of us believe this thing. Amen. And, and, and God has filled us with the Holy Ghost. You should remember when God filled you with the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. And, and listen, if you have not, if you're listening online right now for the first time, you're tuning in again. If you have not been filled with the Holy Ghost, if you have not been baptized in the name of Yeshua, you have not followed God's plan of salvation, God loves you. And he wants you saved. Glory to God. Amen. And you, you can get this. See, no wonder Yeshua could turn around and say, search the scriptures. In them, you think you have eternal life. And they are, hallelujah, that testify. The Bible says in Hebrews 10, 7, hallelujah, the, uh, oh, shout that out. I come in the volume of the book that's written of me. Glory to God. I, he says, I'm in every single book. Glory to God. That's why David, I, I, I love this, David, David could say this. Ah, shit. In Psalms 13, 3, he says, when I wake, I won't be satisfied. I, I, he said, I'm not going to be satisfied, but when I wake, I'll see you face to face. Then I'll be satisfied. And even Job says this. He says that he got this prophetic word. I know that my Redeemer lives. Glory to God. He said, I'm in every single book. I don't care what book you pick up, you're going to find me there. Glory to God. Amen. All you got to do is start searching and you're going to find me in the book because I am the inspiration and revelation and inspiration of every book in the Bible. I'm in Exodus. Glory to God. I'm in Jeremiah. I'm in, I'm in Genesis. I'm in Leviticus. I'm in Deuteronomy. I'm in the minor prophets, the major prophets. I'm in the epistles. I'm in the gospels. I'm everywhere. I'm the author and finish of your faith. Have none like me in all the earth. This is my plan. That's what Yeshua is saying. First Corinthians 15 says, see, we don't, we don't have some small, minute, low, pencil-sized uh, 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 salvation. This thing is magnificent. It's huge. It's, it's powerful. It's something to behold, amen. What God has, has done in my life, I, I'm grateful. What God has done in my life, I was going down the smokestack. And some of us were going, a lot of us were going down the smokestack. But God delivered us in the name of Yeshua. 
Glory to God, amen. What he's done in my life. I I'm so eternally grateful. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. He left glory that I might have my story. And I thank you. My story ends right. The teacher went back to school. Thank you for the, for the second Adam. And think about all these books. Hmm. That they're written thousands of years apart. And then they're, they're, they're dovetailed into one man. Oh, hallelujah. This man is named Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus Christ. Amen. See, see, hmm. Uh, shame. And see, the world uses his name as a curse word a lot of times. Turn on the television. Probably in the 15, 20 minutes, someone's using his name in vain. Shame on them. Glory. They don't think that anything about it. They've excluded him from, from prayer and uh, they don't want to read uh, the book at all and, and glory to God and they don't believe who he is. But he still says, I am the king of the Jews. Amen. And he says, ah, he says, I am the father. When you see me, you see the Father. He said, glory, I, I do things that nobody else can do. He says, I'm omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient, I'm absolute sovereign, monarch, ruler. Hey, hey, I'm, Yeshua says, I'm potentate of potentate. I've got no beginning ending, amen. He's got no equals. He is Yeshua. He says, he says I will be who I want to be when I want to be it. To fulfill my word. See, the adversary is a liar. He's always been a liar. Glory to God. Amen. Since he's, he's fallen. Glory to God. Amen. And he's still fallen today. And, and, and Yeshua says that. I probably, probably says, even the gall of men. To tell me, I cannot become a man. They said, this is what they said. They said, we're, we're crucifying you because you're a man who says he's God. But they had it wrong. They had the whole order wrong. It's God who made himself a man. That he might have himself a bride. Oh, blah, 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 shut up. God came down in a body, revealed himself, and we give his name the glory. We give his name the almighty God we serve. You can't be a true worshiper unless you worship him in spirit and in truth. But he says this, and always look at the grammar. He says this, in Hebrew, the word I, I is ani. This is not in the, uh, in, the, in the plural sense. It's in the singular sense. He says, he says, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. When you see truth walking, you see me. You see God in the flesh when you see me. Glory to God the Father. Manifested in humanity. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. I, I talked about last week, if you want to be a true worshiper, glory to God. Just go to Psalms 103. Read verses 1 and 5, just put your notes later on. Go back there. Psalms 103. That, that, that's a true worshiper, amen? See, see. now I'm going to give you something that, that, that you can be a true worshiper. Glory. You can, you can worship me in, in spirit and in truth. Up until now, you've been able to praise me. But now I'm going to give you something now you can worship because, oh, glory to God, hallelujah. He's worthy to be worshipped. Yeah. Uh, I, I say this, I say, I say, Baruch Atai, Adonai, Elohimu, Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. You are blessed. I'll, trans I'll translate. You are blessed, the Lord God, because you, you are king of the universe. You're absolute sovereign monarch ruler. The Bible says in, in the Shema, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is ek, ek, he's, he's one. Glory to God. You praise him for what he's done. You worship him for who he is. Because he is Elohim, I worship him and everything. I bow down before him. I lay prostrate before him. That's why he says, keep yourself from idols. Don't bow down to nobody. No man. Glory to God. Amen. Don't, don't, no idols. Your idol can't be, can't be your job. It, it, can't, it can't be what's in your bank account. It, it can't be glory to God. Amen. Uh, uh, in your car or whatever it is. Or, or you know, your, your, your 401k and all that. Bow down to no idols. Glory to God. Make sure you give him all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. You see, you want to stay clean. You want to stay red hot. Glory to God. Don't put your mantle down for a moment. Glory to God. You might say, let me just put it. No, don't put your mantle down. You want to stay red hot in these last days. Glory to God. You see, because there's nothing, none like me in all the universe. He says, I am the word. I incarnate. Amen. All things were made for me. And for me, without me, nothing Nothing was made, amen. 1 Corinthians 15, I hold, hold your place on it. I'm going to get there in a minute, amen. I'm so glad I'm not leaving this planet. I'm not leaving this side, Lord, without Yeshua. Glory to God. I, I don't know what I would do. Glory to God, amen. This is not a game, saints. 
This is not a game, amen. Uh, shit, listen, at the end of the day, uh, the Lord knows my last breath is. He knows when your last breath is. You might die tonight. Might die next week. Next, I, I don't know. Glory. Frivolous. Glory to God. When you heard this you on yelling on the gospel, the death, the burial, the resurrection, the ascension, and the second coming of Yeshua, that you came down, and glory to God, washed in the blood of Yeshua, you listen. Glory to God. If you keep on reading the Old Testament, you notice that the Word of God called them Adam. Glory to God. That's why I love the altar. Rich, poor, middle class, don't make a difference. It's a level playing field at the altar, and God is still playing hopscotch. Glory to God. When you come down to the altar and filling folks with the Holy Ghost, the glory to God. But he called them Adam. Glory to God. Hmm. One name. The ecclesia, the ecclesia, the church, has one name. Eh, eh, is a Hebrew word for one name, and, and that name is Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Glory to God, amen. See, we are a Yeshua, Jesus name church. M-B-A-C-C, -C, New Beginnings Apostolic Community Church. We believe in holiness. We believe in the apostolic Pentecostal doctrine. We believe in the name of Yeshua, water baptism, being filled with the Holy Ghost, the deity, the Godhead, he was very, very much God, very, very man. I shot that ago. He, he's the head of the church, amen. His name is Yeshua. His name is Adonai. His name is Elohim. His name is Jesus. Uh, hey, and, 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 and if you're going to be his wife, Amen. You're going to have to take on his name. Amen. Yeshua does not have a wife that does not have his name. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Give God a hand of praise. And where are you sitting at right now in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach? And, and, and you can hold your hat on that and believe on that name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, that you may know that you have eternal life. Glory to God. I, I, I'm telling you, we're, we're living in the last of the last day. If the apostles thought they were so close 2,000 years ago, we have to be at the door at this very moment today. Just go to 1 Thessalonians, go to chapter 4, 14, 13 to 18. Even go to 2 Corinthians 15, 51 to 58. Just read your Bible. Glory to God. Huh. So, he falls asleep from me. Glory to God. And he takes out the elements that will bring me to a place where I, I have eternal life. And, and the Bible says, I, I, in the book of John, I, I said, I go to prepare a place for you. If it were not so, I would have told you. So I thank the Lord that he's already prepared a place for me. Glory to God. This is not my home. This is not your home. We're, we're just passing through here. Oh, glory to God. We're heavenly citizens. Glory to God. Amen. Keep this in mind. Remember, he, he's, he's asleep and, and he does something that the second Adam... That the first Adam did. The second Adam did not do. See, the first Adam, he sinned. He ate. But the second Adam had no sin in him at all. And the first Adam was of the earthly. But the second Adam is the Lord, yod heh vav -Heh, from heaven. Thank God, hallelujah, for the revelation of two Adams. Thank you, Yeshua. Glory to God, hallelujah. He does not have to let down his humanity, uh, his deity to become humanity. And for that, I give God glory in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the revelation of, of two Adams. See, as Adam in Genesis 2, he, he, he's the federal head of the human race. Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, is the head of the church. He, he's the head of the body, amen. Uh, and, I, and I say, I say this, I say, Toda Ata Yeshua. In other words, I'll translate, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're part of the body. Glory to God, amen. That, and, and thank him that, you, that your names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Glory to God. Don't matter what your name is in, in the book, as long as your name is in the book. Glory to God, amen. And, and uh, Hasha, he, he's the head of the body, and it's Jesus, who, who is the Christ, amen. He's the head of the body, and glory to God in the name of Yeshua. 1 Corinthians 15, this is, and go there and just hold your place there, but this is 100% airtight salvation. It's amazing. 1 Corinthians 15. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Just, just hold your place there. Glory to God. See, I wish everybody knew this. Glory to God. You know, you've got, you've got billions of people that don't have a clue about this. You don't take time to read this word. They, and, and, and then if, if they, they read it, they don't even believe it. Amen. Uh, some of us believe this thing. Amen. And, and, and God has filled us with the Holy Ghost. 
You should remember when God filled you with the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. And, and listen, if you have not, if you're listening online right now for the first time, you're tuning in again. If you have not been filled with the Holy Ghost, if you have not been baptized in the name of Yeshua, you have not followed God's plan of salvation, God loves you. And he wants you saved. Glory to God. Amen. And you, you can get this. See, no wonder Yeshua could turn around and say, search the scriptures. In them, you think you have eternal life. And they are, hallelujah, that testify. The Bible says in Hebrews 10, 7, hallelujah, the uh, old shot that I come in the volume of the book that's written of me. Glory to God. I, he says, I'm in every single book. Glory to God. That's why David, I, I love this. David, David could say this. Ah, shit. In Psalms 13, 3, he says, when I wake, I won't be satisfied. Ha, ha. He said, I'm not going to be satisfied, but when I wake, I'll see you face to face. Then I'll be satisfied. And even Job says this. He says that he got this prophetic word. I know that my Redeemer lives. Glory to God. He said, I'm in every single book. I don't care what book you pick up. You're going to find me there. Glory to God. Amen. All you got to do is start searching and you're going to find me in the book. Because I am the inspiration and revelation and inspiration of every book in the Bible. I'm in Exodus. Glory to God. I'm in Jeremiah. I'm in, I'm in Genesis. I'm in Leviticus. I'm in Deuteronomy. I'm in the minor prophets, the major prophets. I'm in the epistles. I'm in the gospels. I'm everywhere. I'm the author and finish of your faith. Have none like me in all the earth. Have, this is my plan. That's what Yeshua is saying. 1 Corinthians 15 says, See, we don't, we don't have some small, minute, low, pencil-sized uh, 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 salvation. This thing is magnificent. It's huge. It's, it's powerful. It's something to behold, amen. What God has, has done in my life, I, I'm grateful. What God has done in my life. I was going down the smokestack. And some of us were going, a lot of us were going down the smokestack. But God delivered us in the name of Yeshua. Glory to God, amen. What he's done in my life, I'm so eternally grateful. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. He left glory that I might have my story. And I thank you. My story ends right. The teacher went back to school. Thank you for the, for the second Adam. And think about all these books. Hmm. That are written thousands of years apart. And then they're, they're, they're dovetailed into one man. Oh, hallelujah. This man is named Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. See, see, hmm, uh, shame. And see, the world uses his name as a curse word a lot of times. Turn on the television. Probably in the 15, 20 minutes, someone's using his name in vain. Shame on them. Glory. They don't think that anything about it. They've excluded him from, from prayer, and uh, they don't want to read uh, the book at all, and, and glory to God, and they don't believe who he is. But he still says, I am the king of the Jews. Amen. And he says, ah, he says, I am the father. When you see me, you see the father. He said, glory, I, I do things that nobody else can do. He says, I'm omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient, I'm absolute sovereign, monarch, ruler. Hey, hey, I'm, Yeshua says, I'm potentate of potentate. I've got no beginning and ending, amen. He's got no equals. He is Yeshua. He says, he says, I will be who I want to be when I want to be it, to fulfill my word. See, the adversary is a liar. He's always been a liar, glory to God, amen, since he's, he's fallen, glory to God, amen, and he's still fallen today. And, and, and Yeshua says that. I probably, probably says, even the gall of men, that tell me I cannot become a man. They said, this is what they said, they said, we're, we're crucifying you because you're a man who says he's God, but they had it wrong. They had the whole order wrong. It's God who made himself a man that he might have himself a bride. Oh, ba -ba -da 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 God came down in a body, revealed himself, and we give his name the glory. We give his name the almighty God we serve. You can't be a true worshiper unless you worship him in spirit and in truth. But he says this, and always look at the grammar. He says this. In Hebrew, the word I, I is ani. This is not in the, uh, in, the, in the plural sense. It's in the singular sense. He says, he says, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. When you see truth walking, you see me. You see God in the flesh when you see me. Glory to God the Father. Manifested 
in humanity. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. I, I talked about last week, if you want to be a true worshiper, glory to God, just go to Psalms 103. Read verses 1 and 5. Just put your notes later on. Go back there. Psalms 103. That, that, that's a true worshiper. Amen. See, see. now I'm going to give you something that, that, that you can be a true worshiper. Glory. You can, you can worship me in, in spirit and in truth. Up until now, you've been able to praise me. But now, I'm going to give you something now you can worship me because, oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be worshipped. Uh, I, I say this. I say, I say, Barukatai, Adonai, Elohimu, Malachi Halom, Shema Yisrael Adonai, Eloheinu Adonai Echad. You are blessed, I'll, trans I'll translate, you are blessed the Lord God because you, you are king of the universe. You are absolute solid monarch ruler. The Bible says, in, in the Shema, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Ech, Ech, he's, he's one. Glory to God. You praise him for what he's done. You worship him for who he is. Because he is Elohim, I worship him and everything. I bow down before him. I lay prostrate before him. That's why he says, keep yourself from idols. Don't bow down to nobody. No man. Glory to God. Amen. Don't, uh, no idols. Your idol can't be, can't be your job. It, it, can't, it can't be what's in your bank account. It, it can't be glory to God. Amen. Uh, uh, in your car or whatever it is. Or, or you know, your, your, your 401k and all that. Uh, bow down to no idols. Glory to God. Make sure you give him all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. You see, you want to stay clean. You want to stay red hot. Glory to God. Don't put your mantle down for a moment. Glory to God. You might say, let me just put it. No, don't put your mantle down. You want to stay red hot in these last days. Glory to God. You see, because there's nothing, none like me in all the universe. He says, I am the word. I incarnate. Amen. All things were made for me and for me without me. Nothing Nothing was made, amen. 1 Corinthians 15, right, hold, hold your place on that. I'm going to get there in a minute, amen. I'm so glad I'm not leaving this planet. I'm not leaving this side, Lord, without Yeshua. Glory to God. I, I don't know what I would do. Glory to God, amen. This is not a game, saints. This is not a game, amen. I, shit, listen, at the end of the day, I, the Lord knows my last breath is. He knows when your last breath is. You might die tonight. Might die next week. Next, I, I don't know. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, but I thank God that, that, that I'm full of the Holy Ghost. Thank that you're full of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, full of the precious Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I got all my chips. Uh, hope always speaks of the future. I got all my hope in, in, in this Bible. Glory to God. Uh, everything is in this Bible. Amen. See, the first Adam, <laughs> man, uh, he, he did a number on us. Uh, you, you had to die. It, 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 the Bible says in, in, in Hebrews 9, 27, it's appointed unto men once to die, and after that, that's judgment. See, glory to God, hallelujah. You don't want to die twice. I'll get to that in a moment. Glory to God, amen. Look, look at the rich man. Uh, he died twice. Glory to God, amen. And look where he ended up. See, I, I know a lot of things out there. They say, they say liver disease and, and cancers and diabetes and heart attacks and uh, deformities and, and, and now these viruses and all these things. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory uh, can kill you, but it all goes back to Adam. We died because of one man's transgressions. All Adam had to do was, was just obey one command. Don't partake of the fruit of the tree of good and evil. Because if, ha, if you do, you shall surely die. Glory to God, amen. And, and you're listening online, if, you, if you're sitting next to a loved one or you're sitting by yourself, just tell yourself, this pastor is telling the truth. This pastor is telling us the truth, amen. See, one man's sin brought on all of these diseases, all of these deformities, because of one man's sin. But thank God, glory to God, hallelujah. I said this before, the biggest pandemic in the history of mankind is sin. Glory to God. But God said, he said, absolutely not. No, no, absolutely not. The adversary, Satan, will not have the last say-so. Yeshua said, I'm going to use him. And then I'm going to use him up. And, and when I get through using him up, I'm going to cast him out. And that's what the Bible says, that when I cast him down, he'll, he'll be no more. Amen. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. And I, 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 he said, I'm going to have myself a bride. And She's going to be an obedient bride. She'll love me. She'll worship me. And glory to God. See, see one thing, the saints, saints that are mature, 
we fall in love with Yeshua. You should. See, he's your everything. He's my everything. Glory to God, amen. He, he supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory. He's a restorer. Because the Bible says, I'll restore the use of the locusts that's eaten. He's faithful to his word, amen. He's not a man that should lie, glory to God. I thank him for everything that he's doing, glory to God, amen. He's, he said, I'll give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, glory. He said, just trust in my word. Hold, hold on to my word, glory to God. Walk in this word, amen. You see, you never want to grieve the Holy Ghost. I shut that go. Glory to God, Amen. I, 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 I think about him. I think about him night and day. I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm obsessed with him. You know, when people look at this word obsessed, they, they look at it as, as a negative. See, but let me tell you what obsession means. It's an idea or thought that continually preoccupies or intrudes on a person's mind. I'm always thinking about Yeshua. I, I, I'm, I'm just. I, I, I'm, I, I want him to come back. Glory to God. I, I love him. I, I, I need him. I need him. Glory to God. I, you think about him night and day. You're anxious for him to come back. Glory to God. You, you, you want to stay light for the flight. You, uh, I remember, uh, uh, glory to God, the sister Mother Queen would say, First Lady Sister Queen would say, stay light for the flight. So wear these garments lightly. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, you, you, you so desperately want to see him. Amen. Who is the God that does what he does? Glory to God in the book of 1 Corinthians. I'm going to get there. Lord, help us. Help us. Help us. See, a lot of folks out there are playing church. Glory to God. Amen. People want to hear the, uh, the preacher tickle their ear. Or it might be a motivational speech. Or glory to God. Or this is your season. And this for that. And I, and I wish more pastors were preaching about salvation and, and preaching about the death, the burial, and the resurrection, the ascension, and the soon second coming of Yeshua. Because that's what it's all about. Being prepared to get them out of here. Glory to God. The Bible says, seek ye, Matthew 6, 33 says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things shall be added unto you. Glory to God. This is not a game. How, see, see, see the, the church... You and I, this is not designed to, 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 you know, just to, you know, maybe sell the chicken sandwiches on after service. And, and listen, every church does what they do, and, and, and that's what you do, that's fine. But when you come to church, you come to hear. Glory to God. I, I say that you come to warrior up. I, I need something that's going to hold me. Yeah, no sense of giving God praise on Sunday, uh, and you have, don't have no victory on Monday. You want to be strengthened. Glory to God. You want to have strong meat from your pastor. Glory to you, that, that you can take on, take this to the work, to the week, work week, glory to God, and be victorious, amen. You, you come to hear, and come to hear the word of God. You can't exhaust this word, hallelujah, glory. We come to exalt his name, my glory to God. We, we come to worship and praise his name, amen. See, we're not some social club. We're not. We're the ecclesia, we're the Colbell ones. Now, yes, we are sociable people. We, we, we want to get along with one another. We should, amen, by the, by the grace of God. But see, our real reason for coming is to give his name glory and give his name praise glory, and giving us life and life everlasting. I want you to think about this. There's a whole lot of things that can make you dead. Glory to God. Look what's happening right now today. The coronavirus. Remember the Woolsey fires we had in, in California last year? Glory to God, Amen. Matter of fact, in, in Texas and Florida, they got this new, they got this thing called stand your ground. Man, if you just look at someone wrong, they can shoot you. Glory to God. Now they got even diseases to say that are in the air right now. They even saying that that maybe leprosy is back on, back on, and you can it can be in the air somewhere and traveling on planes and being on cruise ships. I mean, I mean everything. Uh, glory to God. A whole lot of things can just make you dead. Glory to God. But only one. The Hebrew word for one is ek, ha. Only one can give you life. Thank you, Yeshua. Hallelujah. He came in the flesh. And I give his name praise, and I give his name glory. 1 Corinthians 15, 20. Let's read what the Bible says. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that sleep. See, Look out. The last enemy 
is getting ready to be destroyed. That enemy is called death. Glory to God. Personally, I, I pity the man or woman who does not believe that Yeshua rose from the dead. If you don't believe that, you're never going to be saved. Glory to God. Amen. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Most folks don't believe this on this planet, that you have to be born again, that you have to be saved. Glory to God. See, you won't believe it unless a preacher preaches it to you. It has to be preached from the Bible. Romans 10. Go to Romans 10, please. Verses, I think, 14 and 15. This is what the Bible says. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? It is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings and good things. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Hush, this Bible. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeshua, he rose from the dead and it says that the, 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 the apostles, they, they turned the word upside down, amen, preaching the resurrection from the dead. Though you have not seen anybody get up from the dead, Yeshua is the testimony of the first fruits of them that slept. Glory to God. You can read that in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 20. And because he, he, he lives, we, we shall also glory to the name of Yeshua. So we, we, we walk by faith and, and not by sight. See, the Bible says real faith is seeing faith and, and acting in confidence and responding to the word of Adonai. Amen. See, I have not, or you have not physically died yet. But I know one day my body is going to expire. Should the Lord tarry. But I'm also going to get up. Glory to God. Daughter, you're going to get up, son. You're going to get up. And I give God the glory. And I thank him for the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, that he gave me as a gift guarantee. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Hamashi. See, you know something? See, when you die, that second death, that's, that's a terrible one. Uh, you're dying outside the Lord, amen. That's that separation from God, amen. That, that, that's terrible. It's for eternity, amen. Uh, but I, I thank him that he's given me and he's given you. And, and if you want it, you can get this too, this gift guarantee. I, I've given you my, my spirit. And, and there's no way you won't get up and be separated from me. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Verse number 21. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Where do I want? Verse 21. And we just read verse number 21. See, Elohim, he, he's a spirit. And a spirit cannot die. He's omnipotent, omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent. He has no beginning. He has no ending. Glory to God. He has no graduation in his excellency. excellency. He, he fills every part of the universe. And I thought about this. Think about the, 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 the billions and billions and the trillions and trillions of galaxies and beyond that just go on and on. Glory. He, he feels every part of that. Amen. Glory. If, if I take the wings and I go to the uttermost parts of the sea, he says, I'll be there. If I ascend up to heaven, he'll be there. He's everywhere at the same time. But, but one thing he had to do, he said, I look out and, and nobody in heaven was able to perform what was needed to be performed, amen, and for me to, to have a bride, amen, for myself. Glory to God. Thank you for the second Adam, amen. Oh, hallelujah. I, I looked out and there was no prophet. There was no Navi. There was no Navi. Oh, there was no prophets, amen. Uh, all of them had Adam's blood in them. Matter of fact, glory to God, amen. Remember Adam, the federal head? Amen. Samuel and Jeremiah and, 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 and Daniel and, and Isaiah and Ezekiel, they all had Adam's blood in them. Glory to God. He said, I, I'm, I'm going to let my own arm bring salvation. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Uh, 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 God in his amazing, uh, uh, infinite, amen, phenomenal, outstanding wisdom, he inspires Isaiah. Just, go, uh, just have a note later on, Isaiah 9 and 6. You don't have to go there, but Isaiah 9 and 6. He says, I want you to write down there's going to come a, a day when a young woman, a young virgin, shall be overshadowed by the power of the Holy Ghost. In a womb uh, is going to be the Christ child. Oh, glory to 
God. Amen. After 4,000 years from Genesis 3.15 is now about to be fulfilled. Remember I talked about types and shadows. Now, now here it, it is Mary that she's impregnated by the Holy Ghost. And that what's in her is the humanity of God. Nine months later, for unto us, the Bible says unto us, a child is born. Unto us, us a son is given. Glory. This is magnificent stuff. Saints, this is amazing stuff. He's given, he, he's given on Calvary's cross. How, how, watch out for that name. I said this before. There's power in his name. There's authority in his name. Demons tremble at the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Hamashi. You can thank him in that name. You can hold everything, have confidence in that name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's called Wonderful. He's called Everlasting Father. He, he's he called the Prince of Peace. And, and you got to believe on uh, this by faith. Without faith, the Bible says this is what, Amy? It's impossible to please God. Mm -hmm. See, faith will do for you something else can't do for you. Glory to God. And, and I say this, I say, Ani Toda Elohim. I'll translate it right. It's, it says, I thank God. When you believe on him, as the scripture has said, out of your belly shall come that baby who became a man, who is the Lord God. Glory to God. Amen. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of, of living water. Remember, remember John 7 and 37 and 39? Glory to God. Living waters. Remember John 4 and 10? Remember the, the woman at the well? Glory to God. If you just know who I am, I'm going to give you living waters. You're never, ever going to thirst. Amen. When you believe who I say I am, Glory to God, I'm, I'm going to give you the Holy Ghost. See, ba 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 shadow go. That you, you'll know beyond a shadow of a doubt, amen, that I am the God of the two testaments. Glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God. See, back in the Old Testament, the, the, the Holy Ghost, it, 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 it came and went, but it fell on kings and, and priests and prophets. But it came and went. But glory to God, we, we got the hope of glory today. It dwells inside of us. Glory to God, amen. The same Holy Ghost they got in the upper room, the same Holy Ghost the disciples got, the same Holy Ghost Paul has, the same Holy Ghost Mary has, we got today. And it dwells inside of us today. Glory. we the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yeshua said, I will not leave you comfortless. I'm your paraclete. Glory. I'm your lawyer in the courtroom. I'm everything to you. Uh, glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. He sealed us. Glory. Glory to God. Look up because your redemption draws near. I am. I'm the second Adam, he says. See, when the first Adam failed, the second Adam brought me life. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, let's read verses 21 through 23. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'll read this again. For since, for since, by men came death. By man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so Christ shall all be made alive. Verse 23. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, afterward that they are Christ at his coming. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. See, 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 see. I came here as, 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 as a product of the first Adam. Glory to God. My mother, that birthed me back in Massachusetts, November 1st, 1958, I came as a product of the first Adam. Thank God I, I've been born again. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. I, I'm a vessel filled with the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach. Glory to God. By, by the, the second Adam, Glory to God. So, so you know what God calls us? He calls saints. You know what he calls us? That, that preach good tidings, his gospel. He calls us his, he, he's got to have, he's got to have us, he's got to call, he calls us Trojan horses. We, we're, we're behind it. We're going behind enemy lines to, to preach this gospel. Not ashamed of this gospel. Glory to God. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. And we give his name glory. Listen, saints, this, this is something you, you, you got to have for yourself. Don't wait for your wife or your husband or or your, your grandmother, or grandfather, or friends, or whoever it is, when God is calling you, and don't have it be on your deathbed, you know, you ain't got to wait that long, glory to God, amen, you, you just get moving, glory to God, when you, the Bible is, it, it, the, the Hebrew word for here is Shema, when you hear his voice, get up and come down, I said this before, he's no respecter of person, it's a level playing field on that altar, glory to God, you, 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 only, some, you only get one shot coming through here, 
It's called life. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Whether you know it or not, you are blessed beyond measure. Right now, you're getting strong meat. Glory to God. Amen.